Evie Dray with Radiant and today we're gonna make our own lip balm. So I used to use a lot of uh, like Vaseline or commercially made lip balms and it seemed like your lips were always dry. Uh, it almost did the opposite, you had to apply it all the time and as I start, started studying labels, I sort of know why now, because in a lot of commercially made uh, lip balms, there are a lot of um, synthetic ingredients uh, like uh, fragrances and uh, preservatives and dyes and uh, chemicals that, are, that actually dry our skin out. So, we're going to make our own with only natural ingredients and it's very, very simple as you'll see. Okay, so the first ingredient, we're going to use cocoa butter. And this is uh, really fantastic because the lip balm will smell like chocolate on your lips, so you want to eat it. Uh, this is from the cocoa plant. Then the second ingredient we're going to use is cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. But because I love herbal medicine, I not only use olive oil but infuse the olive oil with a herb, a plant that is number one for our skin, and that is calendula. And here you see dried calendula. I'm sure you've seen them outside in gardens. And um, so these are uh, petals of the calendula plant. And I infuse olive oil with calendula. You can see that here. So this is calendula infused olive oil. And I strain the petals out and then use um, the olive oil for the lip balm. So the third ingredient we're going to use is avocado oil. Uh, you could use other oils if you prefer, like coconut oil or shea butter, um, whatever oils that you prefer. And the next ingredient is beeswax, so I got a big junk here, uh, and I just grated it. So we're going to use um, beeswax to harden uh, the lip balm. And then the last ingredient we're going to use is essential oils. I brought uh, uh, quite a few out here, and you can totally uh, choose the flavor that you like. So I'm going to use peppermint, so we're going to have that chocolate peppermint uh, combination on our lips, which is wonderful. But you could use rosemary or um, lavender or any uh, essential oil. Just make sure it's a high quality essential oil. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to turn the stove on. Uh, we're going to put our oils into the pan. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of avocado oil, one tablespoon of cocoa butter, and then we're going to melt that. So once the oils have melted, we're going to add the beeswax, so one tablespoon of beeswax. I grated it so it's easier to melt. So we melt the beeswax in the oil and as soon as that's melted, as you can see now, we're going to take it off the heat. Now we're going to put some essential oils and as I said you can choose your, the flavor you like and I would say maybe about 10 drops but that's totally according to your taste. And that's it. That's how simple it is. And the last thing we do, we're just going to pour those into our little tin cans or you can put them into a little uh, lipstick. So after you left uh, your lip balm for uh, a few minutes in the fridge, it will harden and this is what it will look like. with this. So, Jonathan, this is for you for doing such an amazing job. Oh, thank you. <laughs>